Good day, class. You're welcome to mathematics class. Our topic for today is factorization. And we're going to look at common factors. Weeks larger expression. That's what I want to consider today. Common factors with larger expression. Let's take some examples. Factorize the following. Factorize the following. Number one, a squared into 5a minus 3b minus 2a raised to power 3. The question says a squared into 5a minus 3b. Let's make this one to be 3 raised to power 3a raised to power 3. A square into 5a minus 3b minus 3a raised to power 3. That's a cube. As you all know that this a squared is meant for what we have in the bracket here. So let's open the bracket. This one will now give us a squared times 5a will give us 5a cube. That's a raised to power 3. A squared multiplied by this one will give us minus 3a squared b minus 3 a cube. For this note, this is a cube. This is a cube. Let's put them together. That is, we now have 5 a cube minus 3 a cube minus 3 a squared b. This is 5 a cube minus 3 a cube. By the time we are taking this one away out of this, this one will give us 2 a cube minus 3a squared b. Now, let's break it down to see what's common based on this topic common factor. What common a and a? This one we give us 2 multiplied by a multiplied by a multiplied by a. That is a cube. Minus is a sign between them. This one is 3 multiplied by a squared means a times a times b. At the end of the day, what's common here? We have A and we have A. So this is what we are adding here. This is remained at here too. What common did as A squared? We are now having A squared into bracket. What do we have left here? This is 2A. The sign between them minus what we have left here? 3B. At this point, there's not a common in here. So these are Final answer here. Eh? It means a square into 5a minus 3b, close the brackets, minus 3a cube will give us a squared into 2a minus 3b, close the bracket. So this is example number one. Let's take another example. Another example is going to be our example number two. We have Example number two, 3x minus y into this one. Let's make it to be um, u plus v plus x plus 2y into u plus v. Now, that's another example here. Yeah. 3x minus y, u plus v, this one all together, plus x plus 2y, u plus v. Now, from the beginning here, let's look at what's coming here from these two different uh, uh, factorization I want to solve now. This one will give me 3x minus y, u plus v. There's a sign between them, x plus 2y, u plus v. If you look at 
these two expressions, what comes out here is u plus v. That is the common factor. So let's factor it out. This one will now give us u plus v into, say this one is in the bracket, this one is a bracket. We are going to open the bigger bracket. So we have it like this into 3x minus y. The sign between them is plus into x plus 2y. We'll close the bracket here now. So now let's look at it. At the end of the day, we have u plus v. Let's now open this bracket. We give us this one will give us 3x minus y plus multiplied by x will give us plus x plus multiplied by 2y will give us plus 2y. At this point, let's put x together and y together. So this one will give us u plus v into 3x plus x plus 2y minus y. Therefore, this will give us u plus v, 3x plus x will give us 4x plus y and 2y will give us y. When we take away minus y out of 2y, we give out y. So at this point, there's nothing that is common here. So this one is our final answer. It means 3x minus y into u plus v plus x plus 2y into u plus v will give us u plus v into 4x plus y. So this one will be our example number two. Let's take another example. Let's go to our example number three. Example three. The question says, for example number three, the question says, so u minus 3v into 3m minus 4n minus 2u minus 3v into m plus 2n. Let's look at this one. It's just like the other example too that we did. There's something that common to them. When we look at this from beginning, let's do our breakdown. We have 2u minus 3v, 2u minus 3v here. So this one will give us 2u minus 3v into 3n minus 4n. The sign between them is minus. The other one, 2u minus 3v, m plus 2n. So the common factor here is 2u minus 3v. So this will give us 2u minus 3v into big brackets. Then we're told that once we have the two in the brackets, you boom bigger brackets. So this one will now give us 3n minus 4n into what do we have then? The sign is minus into what? n plus 2n. So let's call, close the brackets. On this note, we have 2u minus 3v. Let's open this big bracket now. This one will give us 3m minus 4n minus times n give us minus m and minus times plus 2n will give us minus 2n. Now let's put the n together and n together. This one will give us 2u minus 3v into 3m minus n minus 4n minus 2n that is 3n is here minus n is here minus 4n is here and minus 2n is here so on that note let's factor them to solve them this one give us 2u minus 3v take away n out of 3n this one will give us 2n this is minus 4n minus 2n this is minus and minus. This one will now give us minus 6n. Now, when we look at this one, this place, something common. 2 can go in 6. 2 is also a factor here. We can break this one down again. That is, this one will now give us 2 times m. 
Since two can go in six, let's break six. Do we have that six will give us two multiplied by three, which is going to give us six times n. So definitely two is common here. Two is another factor here. We are now going to have it as two u minus three v. What's common there that we have is two into what do we have left here? M minus three times n, three n. So at this point, we can leave our two here or we'll break it out at the beginning. So preferably, let's have it at the beginning. Therefore, the final answer will not give us this two is here into 2u minus 3v n minus 3n. That's the final answer. It means when we look at this statement, 2u minus 3v, 3n minus 4n, into 2u minus 3v n plus 2n. This is what is going to give us the end of the day. You know, like what I explained to us right time, whenever there's something that's common at any stuff, you try to factor it out. And that was what I put here. Two can go in six. We have to break six by using two as a factor. And that was what we have here. Two times two n will give us two n. At the same time, minus six, we have minus here. This six is the same thing as two times three times n. Two is common. We have that two. That's what we are having here. And the main one is three n. That's what we have here. Now, I said it. We can leave it there, but provided let's have it at the beginning. This two is here. This one is here. And this one is here. So this is what we have. Let me give another example, which is going to be our next example related to this one. Something that's going to give us a factor at the middle and we're going to have at the beginning here. So that will not be example number four. Example number four. Wow. Um. Stick. Example number four. Example number four. The question says 5n plus 2n into 6a plus b minus 5m plus 2n into a minus 4b. Now, let's break them down. This and this. This one will give us 5m plus 2n into 6a plus b. The sign is minus 5m plus 2n into a minus 4d. So the only factor here is 5m plus 2n. We now have 5m plus 2n. The big bracket, this one that we have left here, 6a plus b, and the sign is minus into a minus 4d with brackets. Now, let's open this brackets. This one gives us 5m plus 2n that we have here into this one is 6a plus b minus times a. This one is just like we're having one. One is a universal number. Minus one times a will give us minus a. Minus one times minus what will give us plus 4b. We we'll now close the brackets. Let's put a's together and b's together. This one will now give us 5m plus 2n into 6a minus a. This 6a is there. Minus a is there. Plus 4b, which is here, plus b. So 6a is there. Minus a is there. 4b is there. Plus b is there. Wow. From this point now, Let's try to put A's together and B's together. So this one gives us 5M plus 2N. This one take away A out of 60. No, but it is just 1A. This will give us 5A, 4B plus 1B plus 5B. This one gives us 5M plus 2N. This is 5A, this is 5B. I think something is going to, this one will give us 5 times A plus 5 times B. So 5 is the common factor here too. This is 5 into what we have left here. A, the sign, plus B. So I present mirror example. This one we can have it here. 
But let's put it at the beginning. So this one will now give us 5 into 5n plus 2n a plus b. What we are having here is what is making our common factor to have larger expression. So end of the day, this expression we give all this value. That is 5 into 5n plus 2a, a plus b. On this note, I want to give us the assignments that we're going to work on against the next time. So our assignments. Assignments. I would like to give us two questions as our assignment. Number one, number one, let's say 4e into f minus g minus f minus g squared. 4 into f minus g minus f minus g squared. Don't forget this one. The meaning of this is f minus g in two places as well as number two, which says a minus 3b into 2u minus b. And we have it plus a minus 3b. And the last one then, u plus 7b. So this will be our assignment that we, we should factorize the common factor here. Let's get the common factor here. For u to f minus g, Minus f minus g squared. And now on a minus 3b, 2u minus b together plus a minus 3b, u plus 7v. These are all going to stop for the day. Thank you, students. Have a nice day.